In this three minute teaching with tech tip, we're checking out TED-Ed, which can be found at ed.ted.com. To sign up, you'll click on the register button and then you'll see that you can sign in with Facebook or give a username and password. Once you sign up and log in, you'll want to come and click create a lesson on the main screen. So TED-Ed works with TED Talks and YouTube videos. And if you do a search here on this first screen that comes up, you can search for content. You can also insert a URL for a, a video directly if you have one. In this case, I'm thinking about a lesson for Abe Lincoln, so I'm doing a search for Abe Lincoln. I see this mini biography here, and I'm going to choose that to build my lesson around. And again, you can go out and search on YouTube and find something that you want to use specifically. So now here is my Abe Lincoln video. I'm going to go ahead and build my lesson by launching the lesson editor here. And that's going to take me to a screen where I can do things like uh, edit the title. So maybe I'm going to come down here and call this my Abe Lincoln lesson. I've got a small section here where I can enter some text and do some formatting of it. So I've gone ahead and entered a little bit of text for students to indicate I want them to watch the video, then examine the questions and resources, etc. in these preformed sections. So there, there are these sections about thinking, digging deeper, discussing, and then a final wrap-up section. And if we go ahead on to the think section here, we're going to be able to create some questions if we want so that we can encourage the students to, to think about what they've watched. You can create up to 15 questions. They can be multiple choice or open-ended, and I've created an open-ended one here, and you will get feedback about who has responded to those questions. And for the multiple choice, you can indicate which are correct or not so the students can see that. Then I'm going to move on to the Dig Deeper section. In the Dig Deeper section, you've got a block where you can insert text, you can insert a picture. Here I've inserted some text encouraging the students to read an article on the accomplishments of President Lincoln, and here I'm adding the URL. I click the little URL button, and I'm adding the URL to associate with that text. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and make this block bold so that it stands out more. Now I'm going to go into the Discuss section, and I'm going to add a new discussion. So I've added a discussion title here, as well as an explanation. I have uh, quite a bit of space to add those two, and I'm going to go ahead and add the discussion so now participants will be able to participate in those discussions. You can also add additional content in another block here at the end of your TED-Ed lesson, and then you're going to want to go ahead and publish this. You can share your published lesson in a variety of ways. Here you can put an email address, you have a URL to use, they give you some social media sharing options here. Here we see how the TED-Ed lesson looks to somebody that you've shared this with. So you've got your Think section, your Dig Deeper section, your Discuss section. And then as the teacher, you have information here about how many lessons have been viewed, started, completed, drafted, and so on. Uh, stats on lessons, and there's some old lessons I put together just as examples that people have come across. I also should have mentioned that back on this screen here where we shared it, you can choose is this listed or unlisted. So if it's unlisted, then it's pretty private. Only people with the URL are going to find it. So that is your quick intro to TED.ed.